Okay guys, welcome back. Now we already have two pieces of code inside this XLSM workbook called Sales Data. And what we're going to do now is execute the code a single line at a time so we can see exactly what it's doing. Now what I'm going to do to do this, I'm just going to hit F11 to open the VBE, the Visual Basic Editor. And what I'm going to do temporarily is just close the VBA project and I'm going to close the properties and that way you can see the code in the whole window. Now don't worry if your view is like that because it's easy to get them back. You just go to view and you choose Project Explorer and boom your Project Explorer comes back and view properties window and your properties window comes back although you may have to resize it a little bit so I'm just going to close those two uh, just so we can see the code here and then what I'm going to do is drag this over here that should be perfectly fine and I'm going to drag this over to here so hopefully you can see both windows side by side okay now what we're going to do is we're going to step into the code now at the moment we can see that this isn't highlighted so the appropriate code to execute is this one which is the highlight my formulas uh, I'm just gonna delete these remarks here just to bring the code up a little bit so okay so now what we're going to do is step through this and you can see at the top you have a debug option and if you left click on debug you can see that you get the option to step into which is F8 so what I'm going to do is click into the code and I'm going to press F8 on the keyboard and you can see because I was in this subroutine it knows this is the subroutine we want to step into so highlighted number one is sub highlight my formulas and when I press F8 again I'm going to come down to this line of code now because it's highlighted that means that is going to be the next section of code that will be executed so when I hit F8 it's going to move from here this line is going to be highlighted and that line will have executed so just have a look at what happens in the worksheet as we press F8 there you go you can see that this particular line here has managed to highlight all of those formulas uh, that resulted in a number now if you remember the 15 golden rules of coding it says number seven to rem extensively and now we have learned what this particular line of code does what I'm going to do is hit enter tab in and I'm going to hit an apostrophe and I'm just going to make a little note of what that does so this code uh, selects all formula cells resulting in a value so there you go whenever I come back to this code if it's a year or two from now I'm not going to look at this particular line and say wow I wonder what that does because I now have a little rem a comment a note that tells me exactly what that line of code does so this code selects all formula cells resulting in a value and that is what that does okay so now let's pay attention to what's going on over here in the Excel file so we have with selection dot interior and I'm just going to hit F8 uh, nothing apparent has happened there I'm going to hit F8 again which is going to execute dot pattern that equals Excel solid okay so that looked like it made a slight change I'm going to hit uh, pattern color index equals Excel automatic by pressing F8 now that doesn't look like it did anything color now my guess is this is going to make a difference so color equals 65535 which will be the code number for that particular shade of yellow so when I hit F8 boom everything's gone to yellow tint and shade equals zero I'm just going to hit F8 that didn't make any difference and dot pattern tint and shade equals zero and guessing that's the default value I'm just gonna hit F8 step through it and end with and that finishes 
all of those. Okay, and then the final instruction is range, open brackets, quote, O16, close quotes, close brackets, dot select. So let's have a look what that does. Ah, and that moves us down to cell O16. So I'm going to insert a new line there because we've just learned something else. Selects the cell named in quotes. So there you go. Next time I look at this code, I'm not going to have to wonder what that particular line does because I now have a comment that tells me exactly that. Okay, now in the next lecture, we're going to have a look at what this with and end with process does. So I'll see you in the next lecture.